The next feature to be discussed is inquiries. Let us begin with general inquiries. The general inquiries feature enables you quickly find out the legal guardians of students, subjects taught by a teacher, and students who belong to a particular class. Locate general inquiries by moving the cursor to the inquiries tab on the main header, general, is its first sub-menu. It is further divided into children by legal guardian, students by class and subjects by teacher. To locate the legal guardian of a child, click on children by legal guardian. Remember, information here, was retrieved from the data entry section of legal guardian. A page opens. Select the class the particular student is in. A list of all legal guardians of students in the class will be displayed. Click on this arrow to view students who belong to this legal guardian. Children of the legal guardian will be displayed beneath the name of the legal guardian. Next, is how to locate students in a particular class. Click on students by class to do this. A page opens. Select a class from the drop-down menu and students will be displayed. You are free to view any class student you may need to. Next is Subjects by Teacher. Click on Subjects by Teacher to view particular subjects taught by teachers. A page opens. Select Teacher. In this tutorial, I used Yardi Teresa. Next, select the academic year. And the term. Then, click on the search button. A list of the subjects taught by the teacher will be displayed below. Thank you for your attention. Next, is Inquiries on Finance. The next feature under Inquiries is Finance. The Finance feature under Inquiries enables you make inquiries on student balances, student payments, credit memos and student bills. To check the balances of students, Click on Student Balances under Finance of the Inquiries menu. A page opens. Then, select the class whose student balances you would like to check by clicking on the drop-down menu. The student balances for the class will be displayed in a table below. Next, is how to check for student statements. The student statement shows the financial report or position of a student. To check student statement, click on student statement under finance. A page opens. Select the range of the academic year or period in which you would like to check a student's statement by clicking on the calendar icon here. In this tutorial, I selected January 23, 2019 to June 30, 2019 as my range. Then, Click on the Apply button. Next, select the class in which the student is in. Then, select the student. Click on the search button to display the student statement. Next, is Inquiry on Student Payment. Click on Student Payments under Finances for this feature. A page opens. Select the academic year, the term, and the class whose payments you would like to view. In this tutorial, we will view the payments of class 1A in their first term. Click on Load Payments and a table will be displayed showing all payments. Next, is how to view Credit Memo by class. Click on Credit Memo by class to do this. A page opens. Select the academic year, the term, and the class whose memos you would like to view. In this tutorial, I searched for the credit memos in class 1A for the 2019-2020 academic year. Click on the search button to display the credit memos. Next, is credit memo by student. Click on credit memo by student under finance to view this. A page opens. Select the academic year, the term, the class and the name of the particular student whose memo you would like to view. In this tutorial, I searched for the credit memo for Owusu Ya in class 1A. Click on the search button to display the credit memo. 
In the situation where bills created have been cancelled, you can easily view them here, under Cancelled Bills. View all cancelled bills, by clicking on Cancelled Bills under Finance. A page opens. Select the academic year, the term, and the class whose cancelled bills you would like to view. Click on the load button to display the cancelled bills. Lastly, is cancelled payments. Here, you are able to view all cancelled payments. Click on cancelled payments under finance to view all cancelled payments. A page opens. Select the academic year, term, and class whose cancelled payments you would like to view. Click on the load button and all the cancelled payments of that class will be displayed. That is all for inquiries on finances. Thank you for your attention. Next, is inquiries on student results. The inquiries on results, is a quick way to view various results of student in their academics. Here you are able to view class assignments, class tests, projects, homeworks, exam, and terminal subject results of students. To view class assignment results, click on class assignments under results. A page opens. Select the academic year. The term. The class. And then, select the subject. Lastly, click on the search button to view the results of the selected class. Next, is class tests. To view the results of a class test of a particular class, click on class tests under results. A page opens. Select the academic year. The term. The class. And the subject. Then, click on the search button. This displays the results of the student. Next, is projects. This feature, enables you to view the project results of students. To do this, click on projects under results and a page opens. Select the academic year. The term. The class. And then the subject. Next, click on the search button to display the results. Next. Is homeworks. Click on homeworks under results and a page opens. Select the academic year. The term. The class. And then the subject. And then the search button to display the results. Next, is terminal subject results. This follows the same routine. That is all for inquiries on terminal subject results. Thanks for your attention.